I get the cheat code, I'm a beast They should've never let me out of lease Stop out of cap, I'm just tryna see You really back what you talk on the beat They put me in, I'ma walk on the beat I eat my plate and it make me obese I been pushing lyrics like a kingpin And when the day we got no reason What's up guys? What's happening? Good morning The sun shining on me, did you see that? Yeah it is, that? it's actually shining on me I could look up and see. oh no, that's a reflection. It's, over there. <laughs> it's shining on you. Sorry, King Pain. You're right. Sorry, bro. You're it's right. cool. It's cool. You know. And hey, listen, the sun shines on a dog's ass every now and again, bro. <laughs> yeah. So you know, that, was that was that too short into the episode? I think we went eight seconds with the, with the song and the jingle. I think we're we're within the realm not to get banned on the algorithm. So yeah, man, the sun is shining on the dog's ass today. How you guys twinkle. Going? I love it. Ding. I love it. the summertime is upon us, man. March Madness. Huh? Hate on that one. Ain't that what they did? They gave a girl a hard time about that one, didn't they? So I'm going to do that every episode from here on out. You know, uh, ever since we we had an episode, I can't remember, it was many episodes ago, maybe four or five, and I can't stop to think about when I walk into stores now, I see what holiday they're preparing for. Hmm. So l immediately after Easter, what are they preparing for now? Mother's Day. Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Yeah. I don't believe it. After Mother's Day, what are they preparing for after that? Memorial Weekend. Memorial Day weekend. And after Memorial Day weekend, Father's, Father's Day. Day. Juneteenth. Like, I'm mm -hmm. starting to pay attention. Happy birthday, hip-hop this year. Yeah. Yes, 50th, 50th anniversary. Happy 50th birthday, anniversary. hip-hop this year. Yeah. Uh, Tupac's birthday is also in June. Yeah. Yes. My birthday is June in June. June 16th. Gemini's, stand up, cancers, where you at? Okay, I appreciate it. I have three it. daughters, three birthdays in June. Terrible. Three daughters, three birthdays in June. So it's going to be four daughters come to August. It's fantastic. But all three of the three birthdays will be in June. In June. June 3rd, June 22nd, June 26th. Okay, so you got two like in the same realm and then you get a little week to breathe or two weeks to breathe in between the first one. So is the so youngest the first one first? Yeah, youngest one is June 3rd and then two are at June That's 22nd. That's why you have that two weeks to recoup the money. It's a lot, yeah. There we yeah, go. Yeah, you to put it back in. I'm preparing now. I love it. You got Very two. smart. Prepare head. I like yeah. that. Facts. Uh, so we was in our group chat. We have a cheat code group chat with us. I like your watch. Just Thank had you. to point that out because you don't usually like shine like that. Yeah, I usually don't. Bling, 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 bling. Um, probably the sun is shining on his head. That's what it was. The reflection it's off the, the reflection watch. Reflection on the watch hit that the made glass. You think. <laughs> Bow, and then hit me. <laughs> That's what it is. So we were in our uh, cheat code group chat. Are we disclosing? Are, listen, bro. What? Do we really want to talk about what's in our group chat? N well, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shed. I'm just saying. A minor bro. light on one thing. The cheat that we code talk group about. chat is like real exclusive. We should charge for access to the cheat code group chat. Like I would have to charge change how I speak fans. if we did yeah, that. Yeah, let's not. <laughs> because we talk I'm just real, saying, real reckless, reckless in there. Okay, yeah, cool. it was very so we were in the cheat code uh, group chat. Come on with it. And then um, I gave my aha, Kingpin, you were right moment mm -hmm. when we spoke about all the, the entire breakdown of teams within. Um, preparing for a song, album, whatever. Departments. It's, yeah. it's different departments and how, you know, an independent label will have a smaller version of that. An artist with no help has no help. But just to make a song successful, how many different departments have multiple teams with multiple people within them that not only have to try to do a test, you have to accomplish the task. Right. That there is no excuse. You have to make it happen. Right. It's not an option. No. You have to make it happen in order for this successful phone call that we have to have once a week, right. which is the marketing T team call. meetings and, and marketing plans and plans and Correct. all that stuff. Right. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you a kudos in the group chat, but I wanted to break it down. You know, we have so many different people on the call. One time for Warner Records, uh, you got the marketing department, of course. Um, the head of marketing, a &R. and then you have the A and R the department. That's the cheerleader. You have the radio promo department, and then the radio promo department breaks down. You have the international, you got urban, and you got rhythm. So then uh, we got the TikTok influencer team, Snapchat team, uh, content team, artist management team, and the streaming team. This is just for one song, right? And all of those those individuals have to work in unison. And it's don't forget about admin. It's a group of people per team. What you don't have on that call is admin. So all the paperwork that's behind the scenes, the the release for the for, from the producer Correct. to be able to put the song out. If there's a feature, there's a, a slew of paperwork for that. Correct. There, is there, is, is there a, a, it's a department for that? Was there is there a content manager on there? Is there a promotional mar uh, a manager? Somebody that's in charge of yes getting all the the marketing materials printed up and all that good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you have a project, project manager? Project manager. Yeah. Project, project manager, manager on that call. Yeah. Yep. You know, it, it all, you know, we, we talked about it briefly. Yeah, we, we spoke. And, you know, 
I've no, I know all of those positions are required and I've never stepped foot in a major label unless I've been invited with an artist. I've never had privy to a business label infrastructure or hierarchy, but I do understand that it takes more than just one component to make things work. Yeah. And the more ground you want to cover, the more uh, pieces then, that you need to make sure are operating in unison, right? So, right. you know, when you look at an engine, an engine block itself, you know, with the transmission and the, so you just think the engine is just this big old block underneath the hood, but everything that that's connected to. And if you were to just go in there and one wire, just unplug one wire and close the hood, the car probably won't start. And if it yeah. does start, it's going to sputter. It's going to, yeah. it's not going to get to where it needs right. to go. So understanding that that is a perfect example of a record label because <clears throat> there are some parts of the engine that are bigger than other ones but that doesn't mean that the smaller pieces aren't as important as yeah. the big pieces. Agreed. Because having all of those things work together, and, and when we talked about that, it, that led to a whole other conversation about people being able to communicate. So having all of those teams in place is nothing if those people can't establish a means of communication yes. and coordination, dare I yes. say, because yes. you got to be able to coordinate and then execute yes. said yes. plan. Yes. Correct. So, you know, having team members is great. Having skilled professionals around you is a blessing. But not having a plan where you can use those professionals and their skill set to the best of their ability to help you achieve your goal is a waste of resources, is a, 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 a gross neglect to detail, mm -hmm. and it's a slap in the face to everybody else that's around you because those people are looking and studying what you're doing so that they can get to the next level. That's why we have our influencers. That's why we have the people, our mentors. That's why we have people in leadership position because they're being observed. We're watching them. They say the, the microscope gets on you when you get in the limelight, right? Because they want to see what, what are you doing next? Now what you do matters. So if now what you're doing matters, this is probably the best time to kind of make sure that your team is doing everything that it's supposed to be doing. Right. And if you don't know what that means, then maybe I say this all the time. If you've never hung up a poster, how do you know what a street team needs to hang up a poster? If you've never had to upload a song, how would you know what information is required to upload a song? You wouldn't. If you've never had to fix multiple profiles, how would you know? So, Again, if you've never done all of these things, if you've never inquired into these things, how do you know how they work? And if you don't know how they work, how could you ever expect to achieve results from that effort or that service or that individual? It just makes it all pointless. And when having a team, make no mistake about it, a team that does not communicate will not succeed. Correct. And yeah. that's why those weekly calls are important so that everybody knows what we're doing because the department heads are the ones that are on that call. The department heads then have to go back and they have to oversee and manage their, their, their immediate their staff, world, the, yes. their world. And their meetings within that And then well. their meetings exactly. within that department and it trickles down. And, and unfortunately, that requires time. That's why it takes 21 days to get a record loaded. That's why Universal wants 30 days when you upload a record into their system. Because guess what? If we're going to execute for you, it takes time to get all of these people lined up and all of these phone calls and all of these things happening for you. I think it was five or six episodes ago, you might have said, if you don't have any numbers, it makes it that much more difficult to walk into a distributor because those people have to allocate somebody that has a paid responsibility yes. to oversee or contribute to your campaign. And if you don't have a means to justify that, then they can't write that off. Right. They can't give you a point of contact. That's why most people will get distribution and they'll never know who their contact person is because there's nobody assigned to it. You're not streaming enough. I would like to also add, I also think it's a lack of information maybe with the artists um, not wanting to know um, because let's just say an example, recording music, recording music, recording music, boom, I give it to the team. Usually I always see, and I've, we've been around a lot of artists, they record a, a good record here. Make me, blow me up. Yeah, make me famous. Not here. All right, cool. What are we, what's what's happening next? next? I want to learn. I want to figure out what's next because I want to be involved. And I think these days artists need to be a little bit more knowledgeable about what's what's happening with Agreed. their music, even if they're not with a big label. Because that's really the first step. Like when you right. hand off your music, your job is not done. It's just it's beginning. It's really just beginning. Yes. Yeah. When you get a record deal, 
that's not the goal. You're not done. That's just when the real work begins. And most artists are now getting partnerships with yes. the label. So now they have to be on the call. I was on the yes. call and the artist was on the call because it's his label they that he's be. running, which was great because he they was then be. asking a lot of questions. And I was like, oh, I like this because he wants to know as much information as possible. And people have to answer you yes. when you ask a question in these types yes. of meetings. And, and now he's a shot caller instead of a figurehead. And that's the whole difference between being an artist and being an entrepreneur mm. is when you're calling the shots, it's on you. You're not putting your career in somebody else's hands. You're learning all of the choices and you're making informed decisions so that you can excel. And now it's on you. You get to control your career. And that's so important. What about, the, what about the artists who aren't good at that? What do they do then? Do they appoint someone that they, they trust to? They would have to, yeah. They would have then to. Those are the ones that get online and holler how somebody took advantage of them. Those are the ones that are disgruntled. Those are the ones that get online and say, 17 years later, I don't own no, you didn't bother to go see a lawyer, my boy? Mm. Nobody, nobody, nobody consulted you of that? You've been hearing, present company included, you've been hearing people say that for 20 years. Don't sign a contract. 30 years. Don't sign it. They're not telling you don't go get a deal. They're telling you, don't sign it until a lawyer reviews it. Not the lawyer that works for the label. Not the lawyer that only gets incentivized off of the percentage of the deal. Find you a lawyer that is going to look at that agreement and make sure that you are protected. Now, in order to be protected, you got to walk into these meetings with ownership. Don't have a publishing company. Sure, we'll set it up for you. We're just going to use our phone number and email address and our name and our information here. It'll just come to us and then we'll give you your portion. Okay, that's fine with you. Thank you very much. And you're a moron because you <laughs> thought you could just wake up and do it like that, bro. You're right. goofy. And now it's everybody else's fault but your own, bro. Because you thought that the people you seen on BET and MTV and yo and, and, and you thought the ones you heard on the radio, you thought they had it all together because you seen the bling and the shine. And when it boils down to it, six months after the fact, and they done splurged through the whole budget and they got day traded to a whole nother label because a whole nother A&R was able to finesse a new label head who got fired for underproducing. You guys understand that that's how this stuff works? These A&Rs, that's the cheerleader. If the A&R signs a bad act and the act isn't streaming, I guarantee you, it's that A&R that's running around here getting these fake phony ass streams because ain't nobody else going to want to do that. Because there's nobody that understands the right. numbers behind it. You don't get public. You don't get your money off of the fake streams, bro. You know, this industry is one where you can't just look in and watch and figure it out. You really have to be in it and you have to be behind the scenes and you've got to be in that inner circle. And it's so hard to get in that inner circle. You can't just sit back and watch what somebody's doing on TikTok and Instagram and think you have it figured out. When you're a new artist, you can't look at Drake and um, Lil Tyler and Cardi B and whoever else and figure it out because they're already on, they're already successful. So what they're doing is different than what you need to do. Hmm. And so man. many people look in and watch it like it's a fucking reality show and say, oh, I know what to do. I can do this myself. And you can't. And when you fail and you're already $100,000 in, then you're mad because you haven't made a dime and you can't figure it out. They could dress it up. I, I can make it look like that. Watch. And I can make it look like that is the A number one. If one, one more person mm -hmm. says, I'm going to fake it till I make it, I'm going to slap them. If, if I can see someone be signed to Beyonce, but with poor marketing on... Um, what my opinion is on their project, sell 10,000 records. That means anybody can do these same mistakes. They can make these same mistakes. Of course. Not go off of say, oh, yeah, I'm signed to Beyonce. We're just going to put it out. So Yeah, okay. that doesn't work let except for I, Beyonce. Let me see if I understand this correctly. And let me rewind this for a minute. You guys expect one of the biggest global artists in the world that is currently training for her first global tour in how many years? Mm. Forever. You want her to stop what she's doing and hey, go follow this. No. Isn't this the Little Mermaid? Even Correct. even if isn't yes. this the Little Mermaid? Yes, Chloe. So even if she did that, a cosign doesn't do anything. Do anything. The, how is that it doesn't Beyonce's help fault? you. It's not. And everyone thinks it's that. Not. Everyone thinks oh, I just need a cosign. No, you don't. 
it doesn't work. It hasn't worked in 30 years. It hasn't worked in 50 years. I think why will you be the first? In my in my humble opinion, respectfully, I believe that Chloe selling 10,000 album, 10,000 sales on an album is a clear indicator. Not that she had a bad marketing team or that maybe all, you know, reasons for that, but I think it's a clear indicator that Nobody wants a full project from anybody anymore. Agreed. Without a fan base. Agreed. Except, Except maybe Drake death, or Beyonce. But, again, a fan base. Yes. I don't know you. So you know what? You got about five minutes to keep me entertained and make it snappy because there's 100,000 songs dropping at midnight. Yes. So get to dancing. I do think that yes. it, it is an upfield battle that she can salvage. Agreed. Because I feel like yeah, with first agreed. week numbers or just for first week numbers, if she takes this and says, okay, we got more work to do, you can work a project 10,000 sales through. it's at $10 an album that's 100 bands i don't i don't agree that it's about first week sales anymore i don't think so either i think it's about when people discover the artist and whenever they discover it that's a blessing she can keep going whether you yeah, five first songs week, in 10 songs in 20 songs in i think first week sales at one point in time were a great Indicator. A marketing tool, mm. more so than anything else, because you like were that. able to use your pre-sale numbers to get people to, want, oh, damn, you guys shipped platinum? Well, maybe this album is phenomenal. Oh, there's yeah. people lined up around the block. Like, albums yes, yes. were cool when artists did in-store signings. That's why you guys are amazing with the DTLR and the Rari Talk interviews, where you guys are coming in and bringing the artists in, but you're doing that at clothing stores, not at record stores. Right. You know what I mean? It's right. like offering free no haircuts at a mechanic anymore. shop. Right. So, it's you online. Know, Again, it, it's Damn. all it's all relative, man. Damn. Listen, can should she have done a hundred thousand? Should she have done a hundred million? Who knows, bro? I feel like fifty k would have been maybe with a with a fan base. But maybe I don't feel things like to look in where when the project got turned in. When did the completed project get turned in? It's a lot. Yeah, it's a because lot of variables. Because that is going to have to yeah. factor in when it got uploaded. That would also determine how how far ahead it got uploaded prior to maybe, release. Maybe she was shooting the, the, the movie and got sidetracked. Listen. Uh, I'll say this. Oh, yeah. Here. I don't know how many songs are on her album, but let me just say that it's 10, just to, to mm -hmm. make my point. If she had just dropped a song every other week or every third week or even once a month, it would have been so much better for her career than exactly than 14 to drop songs. an album. 14, thank you. So I would have dropped that every other week. And then I would have put the budget behind, I would have put a little budget behind all of them, but I would have put the lion's share of the, the money behind whichever one tested the best. You think, whichever Disney, one reacted. You think Disney might have been like, eh, listen, you could drop that, but no, you can't do no billboards and shit because we're spending $100 billion on The Little Mermaid in 90 days, and we'll be damned if you have a verse on that song I agree or on that. that album that's going to tarnish that movie. They're already after you about being a black Ariel. Maybe not be a good idea. And she was getting back We shots. don't care if you do it, but we're not going to. But that was her sister that was getting the shots. Oh, right? that was her sister? Her sister's the mermaid. Yeah, so, oh. okay, cool. So it's all confusing. <laughs> so that's there we go. Again. It's because there's not enough name noise. Name? Ha Haley, 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 uh, Haley, so uh, Haley, 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 Haley's the little mermaid. So Chloe's not the little mermaid. Chloe She's was on the, on the show with Donald Glover, right? That's the one I was getting the clapping. Oh, that's she, the one she that's was in the back shot. And then she does Chloe. the religious uh, She does the religious movie, which is pretty good, right? From what I'm understanding. She's the one that's in the religious movie, yeah? They got Thank a gospel God for movie. her team, just saying. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm looking at the album, and it has Chris Brown. She has a song with Chris Brown. She has a song with Future. She has a song with Missy Elliott. I feel like it, it's an uphill, uphill battle. Are but those feature songs, or are those main artist songs? Go to Future's page and see if it's on there. Again, it's True. all part of timing. It's all part of the planning for it. If you've got, if you went and secured a feature with Chris Brown, does Chris Brown have a single that's reacting? Hey, Chris, let's release our, let's release our single that we have on this project. Let's release that as a single leading up to the project. Hey, hey, Future, you got a song coming out? Oh, I just heard you previewing something with the weekend. Uh, yeah, it's on Future's profile. So, main artist, right? So again, it, it's a it's a thing of planning. I guarantee you, if you give Future's team a tweet and a caption and the media five different images, five different videos in story format and everything else, and say, hey, team, we're dropping the album on this day, bro. I'd appreciate you guys pick one of these that you like. If not, just give me a reply back so I can get it with the team. Hey, team, did you guys get that? Who dropped the ball? You think Chloe is worrying about if Future is tweeting her album? No. At the end of the day, bro, planning is what makes sense to us. If you're dropping a project... Have you lined up any media? 
Have you lined up any conference calls with any DJs? Have you lined up any conference calls with any influencers? Have you lined up any social media calls? Have you lined up any lives? You can create your own flyers and have those posted on your Spotify so that your eight monthly listeners can tune in to watch you. And those eight will turn into 12 because somebody will be in the room with them. And those 12 will turn into 30 and 30 will turn into 50. And you know what? If you listen to your song every day for two years, if you listen to one song every day, your song every day, at the end of the year, you'll have 365 streams. 38 million songs didn't get one stream last Isn't year, that according crazy? to the study. That's crazy. But if crazy? you listen to your own song once a day, every day, you'll have 365 streams. Do you want it or do you want somebody to want it for you? I can't want it for you, my brother. I want it for me. And that's why I go as hard for you as I do, because I thought you wanted it for yourself. My bad, bro. I do think it's also because it's a lot of information and I feel like sometimes creatives can't take in all of that when they're trying to create music. And I'm start. I'm just seeing it. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing artists be like, all right, cool. I'm just going to sign. No, don't do that. You can't do that. You can't just say, okay, whatever. Turn in the song. Um, make phone calls. No, don't show up this. Show up late. Showing up late is a very bad indicator of how you how you treat yourself or how you of respect your yourself. As an artist. Yeah. It shows lack of commitment. As an artist. They'll go in there and, 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 and create a really great record. I had, a, I had an interview scheduled. Ferrari Talk, the artist was 30 minutes late. And I lied and told them the time. So they were actually on time, but they were still 30 minutes late. <sighs> people only value what they, people only pay for what they value, bro. And if they're not paying attention to your time, then they don't value it. That's real. Sorry, cheat code. Cheat code. Cheetah Kodai. You bish.